you guys. So apparently we're gonna smoke. Because that's what Chloe Price does. She smokes. I would say that she's gonna have a short life expen- uh, uh. She's killing herself. Sending herself to an early grave, but we already kinda know that. Oh! The wildfire's still going on. Cool. I really, really, really like the fact that a lot of these characters have like a spirit animal almost. I mean, Max, there was always the deer. Like you were always seeing a deer, she was always seeing a deer. Chloe, every time you're seeing Chloe, she's like, she, there's an eagle, like with freedom and all that. Oh, are we gonna have another dream sequence? With all this really fucked up stuff in the uh, journal. Cause uh, that's. Oh look. Shit. I slept all day. That's some creepy graffiti, man. What? What the hell? Is that her dad roasting marshmallows over his own crashed car? <laughs> this game has some weird dream bullshit going on. He's what? he's roasting marshmallows over his burning car. <laughs> Chilling out with a crow. Why not? Um Jane Doe, Hollyweed, my burning tree, um, Rachel's dad kissing that woman, and there's David and Joyce, escape the bay! I don't think any of this really changes. Oh, hey, look! What the fuck? Oh, it's not a crow, it's a raven! I wonder if it says no, never more. You got kicked out of Blackwell? Wow, I don't think we can be friends anymore if we ever were. Miss Price, you do realize what happens to students when they leave Blackwell. Their parents die. Tick, tock, tick, tock. <laughs> Call! <laughs> Shakespeare. I'll trade your father for Rachel. I need her to be a star. My star. Um, hey, can I have some marshmallows too? I, I, I want a, I want a marshmallow.
Did you just stab through the bag? Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized, too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. Whoa. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Oh, incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Ah. Uh, careful of what? Satan. <laughs> of getting burned. Ow! <laughs> or do they both eat burnt flesh? I don't know. That's some weird shit, man. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? <laughs> I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Uh, Just some junk I found lying around. A pirate flag? A cool blue light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. <laughs> Always thinking ahead. <laughs> Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. I hope. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that well's meeting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. <laughs> you covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. 
I guess we know who the better liar is. <laughs> or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Uh -huh. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. <laughs> what the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But <laughs> now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Yay. Yes, you tell on me. Of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh. Chloe, that's awful. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? Therapy. <laughs> Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, Doc. Let's see. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Uh. He's uh, a skeptic because he's overly sensitive and he thinks he's way more important than he is. Also, he's a dick. <laughs> Poetic. <laughs> May I also suggest step ladder? <laughs> step ladder. Because. He climbs on your mom every night. Oh! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? <laughs> Sorry. It's called shock therapy. <laughs> Highly controversial. Uh. Okay. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean, how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. <laughs> I bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Uh... I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. <laughs> Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's <laughs> pretty badass. The fire keeps coming up, and I'm not sure how to feel about Do that. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. Mm. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But 
He's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Um... You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit. It's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good <laughs> luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Break both your legs! Hey, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. What? Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Ooh, I want to know what's in the bag. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? I can't wait. Let's see what's in the bag. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Hello, Junk Shack. I should actually probably turn off that radio because I'm probably going to get like copyright bullshit going on. So, uh. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. There we go. Do, 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 do. Ooh, wall. Graffiti. Graffiti. I can't remember what was on there before, but uh no, oh, no, just close here. This place is the shit. I should probably check my messages. Oh, hey, Mikey. Mac, I heard you got expelled. Yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. Get it? Steph says you're a nerd. <laughs> Tapestry. Man, we're going to look this place like home. Away from home. Oh, damn. Look at this tapestry. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. <laughs> it's important to mark my territory for all future junk shack visitors. <laughs> okay, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? I've waited long enough. I want to know what's in the bag. A bag full of no. Yes, I need those. Yeah. Sure, why not? <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. <laughs> Raven hair. Tarot tower. Worsted skull. Bonus outfits. Hmm. 
not too bad. What's bonus outfits? Illuminati, Punk Doe, Hot Dog Man. <laughs> I want to see what the raven hair one looks like. Ooh, I like it. Yep, I like it. We're keeping it. We're keeping it. Okay. I'm at the junkyard now. Oh boy. Hey, dude. Please don't kill me. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Right. Get your ass in here. Okay. Jeez. He's a little huffy, ain't he? Just a little. Just a tad. Bit. Bitty bit. Nah, I'm gonna call it there. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.